What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, we're out at the lake today. This video we're probably not going to be doing any fishing because I want to show you guys what to look for when you're bank fishing. Um, I do a lot of fishing from my boat but there's a lot that I can show you about bank fishing that will give you more confidence, kind of know what to look for and that's what we're going to do in this. So basically what I'm planning on doing is giving you some drone footage of some different areas and then showing that that's a point and you can fish that point and then what is actually on the outside of that point a lot of times there's rocks on the point that you can see visually and then there's rocks also underneath the water and i'm going to show you that on my graph so that's the plan for this video if you're new to the channel please subscribe um, also if this is the kind of video that you really like that's really helpful for you let me know and i'll try to do some more like this but um, let's get to the first spot. We'll check everything out. I'll get that drone up in there so you can guys can get a bird's eye view of the spot and then we'll talk about it. So as you can see in that drone footage, there's a big long point that goes all the way out and then there's a bunch of rocks right as it comes into the shoreline. I know from when the water level's been low and everything that this, that the rocks go out. But what I'm gonna show you to give you that confidence because when you get to the lake and you don't know the area very well and you need to find some spots to fish, big main lake points like this are perfect areas for you to go out and target from the bank. You can make long casts into deep water, you can fish around the bank, and points are just fish magnets. There's always fish on points. So these points are great places to start, especially when you see rocks in the water on the shoreline. Those rocks are probably gonna continue to a point out deep, and those are the perfect areas for you to be able to do a lot of different things. Throw a crankbait, throw a Carolina rig, Texas rig, drop shot, all kinds of different stuff. So let's get on the grab. I'm gonna show you the side imaging and show you uh, what this looks like underneath the water. And here in a second, I'm gonna get us positioned and shallow enough so that way you can see all these rock piles as we go over the top of this point. And on the side imaging and on the down imaging, you should be able to see this stuff pretty clearly. So let's get going. Yeah, up in the top left corner, right up here, you're gonna start to see some of those rock piles and you're gonna see a bunch of them down there. And you can see as the, I'm coming up over the point, so it's getting shallower. And all those shadows and everything that you see, those are all rocks down there. There's bait and everything down right here. And then there's all those rocks that you can be fishing from the bank. And as we come around this point, there's more. And there's some more bait down there. And more rocks. So those are all things that you have access to from the bank. And it's just finding high percentage areas that hold fish year round. And points are definitely one of them. So see right here, we got all kinds of rock and bait. Here's the side imaging, I went right over the top of it. There's a ton of fish down there right now. So another type of structure that you can definitely pay attention to when you're fishing from the bank, especially in those colder winter months, it's finding those steep banks. Because most of the time, those steep banks are gonna stay steep as it goes into the water. Obviously, eventually, they're gonna plateau and they're gonna flatten out. But a lot of times, there's enough water in all these lakes that the the steeper banks are gonna stay steep. So when you cast out there from the bank, you're gonna be able to hit that deeper water, find those areas that have the rocks, just like I showed you there, because most of the time, those rocks are gonna continue into the lake. They may scatter out a little bit, but a lot of times, you're gonna be able to fish those rocks out deeper because they continue in. So even though you don't have sight imaging, even though you don't have a depth finder to go find that stuff, you can still utilize what you see visually 
find some of those steep areas so that way you know you're getting to the right depth range to target those fish and obviously a point like we just talked about is a great area you're going to be able to get to deeper water with the long cast there's already rocks on it like i showed you so let's go find another steeper area where the rocks come into the lake It'll get you some more drone footage and then we'll talk about that spot too right there that's a steeper bank that has rocks coming into it there's a little pocket right there where there's brush in the water the rocks are going in it's a steep bank so you're gonna be able to get to deep water if you need to winter time summer time where those fish are moving out deep so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you all the rocks that are underneath there so those rocks are coming into the lake and you can watch me as I go over that spot with the side imaging, the down imaging, and the sonar to show you all the rock piles underneath there. So if you're at the lake and you see something similar, just give it a shot. Worst case scenario, the rocks don't go in there, but it is a high percentage spot because that spot back there, it's got a little bit of a point to it. It goes into a pocket. It's got steep bank to it so you can get to that deep water. So let's go over it. I'm going to show you guys the graph with the side imaging, down imaging, and sonar. All right, so we're starting to idle up towards that spot. Um, we're gonna be a little bit shallow. As you can see right now, we're in 15 foot of water. And as you can see, we already got all those rock piles coming up right there. Those are gonna be perfect areas where you guys can catch fish. You have easy access. And then we got some deep rock piles right out here too. So this is a perfect spot for those of you that are needing to find some wintertime rock piles. These rocks come in from the bank, steep bank, so you know you're gonna be able to get out there and get to that deep water if you need to. This would be a great spot and something that's accessible to you guys from the bank. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys one more spot and it's not gonna be a point. It's not gonna be a steep bank with some rocks or something like that. It's gonna be a shallower area. So that way, if you're looking for those shallow areas, you can just look at the shoreline and find those shallower areas. If the, if the bank is shallow and doesn't have a real steepness to it, you're gonna be able to find those shallower areas. You wanna find an area with a flatter bank because that flat blank bank is gonna continue into the water and you're gonna be able to fish that shallower area. If there's rocks all over the bank, then there's probably gonna be rocks in that shallow area as well. So we're gonna drive over to another spot and then I will get on the graph and I'll give you a drone shot of everything and then I'll show you what it looks like on the hummingbird. All right, so we got to the next spot. This is the flatter area. So what I'm gonna do now is I got a spot locked with the trolling motor and I'm gonna get that drone up and I'm gonna try to describe everything to you. I'm gonna get this drone up in the air and I'm gonna show you all of the surrounding area. You can see how it gets flat as it go, as the bank goes into the water and then it stays shallow and then it, it's real shallow and slowly progresses into deep water and it takes you a long way to get there and that's what I'll show you on the graph. Flat 
everything is. There's not gonna be a bunch of rocks. We don't see those rocks in on the bank as it comes into the water. We just got that brush. So I'm gonna keep going through with the hummingbird and um, show you guys what's on the bottom. Okay, so we're in 16 foot of water right now. And as we go up towards the bank, so we're going right towards the bank. So now we're slowly going up to 13 foot and it's gonna kind of plateau a little bit. So it's not super steep, it's just a gradual incline in towards the back of this little bay. It's real sh a slow increase, eight foot. Yeah, it took a long time to get to seven foot. So as you can see, this is a real flat area and all this stuff down here on the sonar, that's all gonna be grass, that's brush. So even still, this would be a great place to throw some stick baits, maybe drop shot. Uh, spinner bait stuff like that. That's all going to be good areas in order to get bit and this is all accessible from the bank. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, it's a little bit different type of a video but I hope it was informative. I hope you guys learned something and I hope that it was beneficial and it's going to help you catch more fish because I know you're limited when you're out on the bank. You don't have the electronics that, that guys have on boats but that doesn't mean you can't catch fish. That doesn't mean you don't have the ability to use what mother nature gave you look at the banks look at the structure that you can see and most likely it's going to translate into what's below so if you use that thinking you're going to be in high percentage spots and you're going to be able to be around more fish because if you want to fish rock piles find an area on the bank where you can see those rocks come into the water because most likely there's going to be more rocks down below if you're trying to find shallow areas find those areas on the bank that aren't as steep now if you're trying to find steeper areas make sure to look for those steeper banks because that's going to give you the ability to fish deeper sometimes those wintertime spots sometimes those summertime spots where those fish get out deep you're going to want to find those steeper banks in order to get to that deeper water um, main lake points you can't go wrong fishing main lake points from the bank because those give you access to deep water and those points always have fish on them so i hope today's video was beneficial to you i hope you learned something if you did make sure to give me a subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already if you're new to the channel and you have any questions make sure to comment down below and i'd love it i'd love to know if you guys subscribed based on watching this video and if this stuff is helpful for you let me know and leave a comment down below saying hey this was really helpful put some more stuff out like this but um if you liked it make sure to like the video as well and if this was helpful to you share it with your friends and i'll see you guys next time later